this is Swamp Rabbit, and today I'm playing Bloon's TD6 Daily Challenge using no monkey knowledge. I'm going to start by placing my Quincy. Now, if you'll notice, I don't actually place him near the beginning. I place him a little bit off, and the reason that I do that is because I want to use the Alchemist to turn rubber into gold and lead into gold so I can make some extra money to do more upgrades on these monkey towers. next tower that I want to add is a glue gunner monkey and I want to upgrade this monkey to 210 at this point. next monkey that I add is going to be the alchemist and I'm going to add it near the entrance and I want to upgrade it to 104 so to give it the uh, larger splash and then it'll also turn rubber to gold. The Alchemist, I also want to change its targeting from first to strong, and this way it won't miss any of the leads that start coming on 28.
that I want to make is to the glue gunner and I want to upgrade him to a 310 and give him balloon dissolver. want to add my last monkey, the Dartling Gunner, and I want to upgrade the Dartling Gunner to 010 so that it can see camo and help out Quincy with the camos, because Quincy's the only one that can see camo right now. I also want to lock my Dartling Gunner into place. It's targeting, and I'll do that at the crosswalk just below Quincy to the left of Quincy. splash area, so I will upgrade it to 320 for glue splatter. I'm going to upgrade my glue gunner to 420 for balloon liquefier. Now I'm going to do some upgrades to my Dartling gunner. I want to upgrade it to 240. So as I get the money, I'll make those upgrades. On 39, I am going to use my Quincy ability when the balloons start approaching him horizontally.
here on 51, I am going to use the rocket ability of the Drawling Gunner to help out with these camos because there's so many of them. that I make will be to the glue gunner to upgrade it to 67, I am going to use my rocket ability to help out with these camo ceramic regrows.
four. I'm going to use the rocket ability again because we've got the ceramic camo regrows again and it's just too much for them to handle without the, the ability added. Following the BF3, there's going to be the second wave of ceramics, which are camo, and so I'm going to need Quincy's ability to help out with that. And so I'll use Quincy's second ability to call the arrows on that second wave following the BF3. Now that I have enough cash, I am going to upgrade my Dartling Gunner to the M8. That'll be a two five zero. Targeting on my alchemist from strong to first, and that's just because I want to make sure that it's hitting all the smaller ones and not not focusing on just the Moabs.
just taking it off of auto start so that I've got some time in between rounds to make some changes. Now I'm changing the locked position of my Darling Gunner. I do like to leave it unlocked though. I mean, you can micro it if you want, but who wants to do all that? But if you want to, <laughs> yeah, feel free. And um, then you don't, you won't have to. Probably won't have to use any abilities. But then you're like microing it the whole time. And I don't know what people would like doing that. Starting on round 90, I will start using my drop gunner ability, the rockets. Now I won't use these on the DDTs because you can bust up the DDTs really easily. It's just um, unless you're microing it, it's gonna have a hard time actually hitting the camos that come out of the DDTs. <laughs> so I actually use it more as a cleanup after the DDTs are busted open. in cash and so what you want to do now is sell your alchemist at the beginning and you want to add it onto Dartling Gunner and you want to upgrade it to 520. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.